In this video, we'll walk through an example of finding the arc length of a polar curve. Let's start with the polar equation r equals 1 plus cosine of theta. And I've got that graphed over the entire interval 0 to 2 pi. But I've got overlaid here the interval of just the arc length that we want, and that's just pi over 2 to pi, so that's shown in red there. Now, we can use this integral to find the arc length, and that probably would not be given to you in the... Um, in the test, but I've just got it here for reference. By the way, we also don't need to sketch it to use this formula, but I'm just uh, using that to, to show you what it is that we're finding here. Now, what are the things that we need? Well, alpha and beta, that's pi over 2 and pi. R, that's, that's of course 1 plus cosine of theta, and we will square that. dr d theta, let's find that right away. The derivative of r with respect to theta, that equals negative sine of theta, and we'll, we will be squaring that as well. Um, and remember, negative times a negative is a positive, so we'll just have positive sine squared of theta. Let's put all of that in there into this integral. Now we have that written. It's the square root, the integral of, the square root of 1 plus 2 cosine of theta plus cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta. All right, let's clean this up. Cosine squared and sine squared of theta. That equals 1 together, and combine that with the other one. So let's rewrite that. By the way, that 1 plus 2 cosine theta plus cosine squared of theta, that's, that's just this r squared, right? Okay, let's rewrite all of this to clean it up. So now we have this nice and tidy, the integral of the square root of 2 plus 2 cosine of theta, d theta. But it's not tidy enough. That's a pretty difficult integral the way it is. So let's rewrite this part this square root of 2 plus 2 cosine of theta. The first thing I'm going to do is factor out the square root of 2. So square root of 2 times the square root of 1 plus cosine of theta. At this point, now we can recognize with a, with a little manipulation that that is actually uh, part of the half angle formula. So what we get is the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of 2 cosine squared of theta over 2. All right, that is 1 plus cosine of theta equals 2 cosine squared of theta over 2. So I'm going to factor out another square root of 2 here. And so I have square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which just gives us 2. So 2 times the square root of cosine squared of theta over 2, well, that'll be nice because the square root of something squared is just that something. So we've got 2 times the cosine of theta over 2. So that is what I'm going to plug back in right here. And I'll rewrite that right now. So I've rewritten this. The square root of 2 plus 2 cosine of theta equals 2 times cosine of theta over 2. And I've brought the 2 out front of the integral. So now we can take that integral. So s equals 2 times 2 times the sine of theta over 2. And that'll be evaluated from pi over 2 to pi. So now I'll just combine these these two. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times the sine of pi over 2, that is 1, minus the sine of pi over 2 over 2. So that's like the sine of pi over 4. And that is the square root of 2 over 2. Now, if you wanted an exact answer, that, that could be it, 4 minus uh, 2 square roots of 2, I guess, if you were to distribute that 4. But I like to really have a handle on what this answer is in terms of uh, real numbers. So let's say approximately equal to 1.17. And that's the arc length that's, ju that's just in red. So pi over 2 to pi. Again, what's in blue there is the entire uh, interval 0 to 2 pi. And in red is just an overlay of just the interval from pi over 2 to pi. And that arc length is one point, approximately 1.17.